What's going on, me? Welcome back to another episode of Red Glory. And now today in our Nick Savage quarterback universe for uh, the University of Clemson. Actually, it's Clemson University. I figured out when I was researching. Not really researching, but like looking it up. Uh, now we're 3-1. Our first loss was at Georgia, and that was because we weren't starting. So that doesn't count as a loss for Nick Savage. So for every game we've started in our career, we're undefeated. Okay, that's enough of that. We're going to go uh, play Syracuse. Now, I remember playing Syracuse... Uh, in like a regular exhibition game and I remember they, they put up quite a fight so I'll, I guess we're gonna play 4-0 number 23 Syracuse so I'm just gonna hop right in all right so we're away for this game pails never fails okay this is like the first time now they are gonna choose to kick so we're gonna get right into it uh usually when I'm looking for colleges I want to play for when I'm playing Road to Glory I think this is just a regular handoff right yeah usually when I'm looking for schools to play in Road to Glory Oh, that's a good block by me. I usually look at how good the team is, who they play against, uh, their field, which is an, a big thing, and their unis as well. Those are all big things. I just like my guys looking fresh. And uh, for Syracuse, I like their unis and their field. But the thing is, I'm just not a big fan of the competition that they really play against, and they're not too good. So I, I don't even know who they play. I think they're in the ACC, so basically they would be playing Clemson and, uh, I mean, Florida State, maybe. Those are the only really good teams in the ACC. So, again, they don't have much competition. Other than that, I like Syracuse's, like, stadium and stuff. So, I, I, it's one of my options, I guess, in the future. If I ever do want to play, like, a Road to Glory by myself, <coughs> like, as a different character. Now, I was just thinking about it. I, I think I'm going to start doing, like, three games an episode. And that means there's, like, around... I don't know, I think 11 games in a Road to Glory series. When I said series, I meant season. There's like uh, 10 or 11 games. So if I'm doing three per game. That means we're going to be blowing through seasons in like three to five-ish episodes. Again, I'm not 100% sure that was a dumb pass. And if we're blowing through seasons that quick, I mean, we're literally going to be playing Madden and putting Nick Savage into Madden in literally no time at all. And I also thought about this. Now... If you, I don't know how, what's the max amount of time that you can have one character, like, for instance, how many years you could play in the NFL, uh, with one character, and, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, that was a pretty sick truck. Now I gotta remember where I was. Uh, I don't know what's the max amount of, like, years that you could play in a connected franchise series, and also... Um, I know you could do this in the older games, but I don't know if you could still do it. But uh, for instance, like in Road to the in Road to the Show, MLB Road to the Show, for instance, you had a character, and like in Road to the Show 2017, and you played like nine seasons with him, you you can like import that file into like Road to the Show 18. So basically, you start off where you left off in the last Road to the Show. So I don't know. If they're gonna have that same thing like when Madden 20 comes out, I sure hope because if not, um, we're literally gonna be like we're gonna play like three years or whatever on Madden 19 and then like go back in time, which I think that's gonna be like super weird. Ooh, and that's a touchdown, boy! So we're playing fantastic, uh, and I was literally just like praising Syracuse, saying like, you know, they were pretty good when I played against them in an exhibition match. This is what always happens though when I say, oh, we're playing a 10 out team, they're gonna be good, and then this this happens. I really wish we played Syracuse maybe a little bit later in this season, or just like maybe two games, so um, they can maybe go up a little bit further in the rankings, and we can get some more some more credibility, like after we win this game. Like, I don't know how far we're gonna go up rankings-wise in this game. I wouldn't imagine too much, maybe like one or two spots, and again, it also depends very much on what teams lose, and thank God the SEC is, a, the SEC is literally a gauntlet because... Oh my goodness, I had to focus. Oh. Ooh, I was going to try to cut, but I cut. Dude, my carrying is so low and it's annoying. All right, I need to remember to slide. I need to remember when I go for those long runs, I need to slide. That's the main part, like, part about going on those main runs. Now, I'm going to throw it to you just to get the first down. Like I was saying, good thing the SEC schedule is quite a grind to where, uh, I mean, Alabama and Georgia, one of the, like, they're gonna have to play each other like one or the other. I just need a first down. Like one or the other is gonna have to like fall out of the race. And then also, Ohio State has to play Michigan. I don't know if Michigan's good even with the updated rosters yet because they weren't good like 
in the actual base game so i don't know if the updated rosters actually made them good either way we gotta uh, of course alabama and georgia are probably gonna play each other sec championship uh and that's that's gonna knock one of them out of the national championship and again there's no playoffs so it's not like top four it's literally top two and then if you don't get in that two you're not gonna get to the national championship which really really sucks that's why um i did not mean to throw that do not pick it off please i'm making stupid decisions now third and 11 i'm assuming dixon's gonna be open but i think i'm gonna watch joseph pretty closely yeah i probably get out I feel like that should have been like deflected now we're gonna rush up because I kind of like that play uh, I'm gonna use an extra play because we actually have these unlocked I can flip now I did not I did not mean to pick the f okay I'm giving it to my halfback I did not mean to do that but we're doing it all right fake hike and send him out on his own I didn't mean to choose that play but that's just how cookie crumples now this play this might be able to get so get us in the end zone if Dixon can get open pretty nicely so let's pray for the best uh let's run slide slide dude <laughs> i could have i could have like jumped and tried to get the first down but i was not i was not gonna choke a fumble like in the red zone i was not gonna let it happen bryant should be open that's what i'm assuming uh or run and i'll be able to walk into the end zone oh that's late contact i wonder when they're gonna put us in the heisman race i mean we gotta be coming up here pretty soon i mean we do have a fumble problem but any other than like that problem there's really no problems within my character slide 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 we have 59 seconds that's cool we could do something deep attack oh cash money that air out it's probably gonna be open i saw a post on twitter where it showed like four verticals and it said who you passing it to and like almost everybody was like the guy over the set that was like going to the center now that was a really good pass that was a really good pass now we're 10 for 12 with 181 yards for one touchdown and i believe two rushing touchdowns so our stat line's already looking impressive hopefully he's fast he was but not fast enough now i'm gonna do a rushing offense also we have to worry about not getting injured because i believe we got injured like three or four times last episode and one of them was on the game winning drive of the second game that we actually played so not very cash money i don't know why you guys stopped running boom so it's the third quarter we are up by 16 i'm able to do my math right okay, so let's run this play see what we could do get that block and i'm gonna run i was trying to slide but I was like, I also, so there's two options. I could either slide and like just stop, like take what I can get or try to cut. And I tried to cut and then got we didn't fumble. That's all I care about. Oh, that's a bad pass, but I still got it off and he still caught it. So that's all that matters. This is like the battle of the oranges right now. That's literally all this is. Um, I was like, okay, I just want to get a little bit of yards and there's the injury problem. We were injured for the whole game. We were injured for the whole game. Our backup quarterback scored five touchdowns within like a quarter and a half. Hopefully, like, coach isn't like, you know, um, we might just have to go with the other guy. But, okay, I we got injured. That's what, I couldn't do anything about that. They literally took us out of the game because we were injured. Now, this week we have Boston College, but I want to take a quick look at, first of all, this. We need, I want to see, uh what we could do xp wise because we do have 32,000 xp now i'm gonna actually drop some money on drop some money drop some xp on some speed some recognition and i believe these are all temporary except for this one. Oh, we got to get that juking up we have an 85 overall spin move why are we not using it and of course i <laughs> Of course I need another two route running, but our agility is up there too. That'll help us get our little uh, our little cuts in, but well, where was it? Spin moves in the 85. I might have to use that a lot more. Now let's check the Heisman watch, see where we're at. 
and we're not on here okay so apparently georgia really sucks and they lost to tennessee they dropped 12 spots from number one which that means we're in the top 10 and that probably leaves like alabama playing texas a and m and then is even is ohio state even in here okay so ohio state lost in overtime at uh northwestern so if they could beat michigan that knocks out another team out of the top four and oregon unless they play um okay ucla that could knock them out and and like ucla would probably have to win that along with oregon states up there too and then south carolina oh no we don't play there th we play uh we play uh north carolina state my bad i thought they were in our our schedule coming up but no these are all se sec teams sadly uh so this that's a major rip take a look at our schedule now fsu was ranked 10th and we really needed them to stay there in order because like look at these teams oh we do play south carolina okay so what we need we need south carolina to like we need them to keep playing good we need them to like be the number one spot like to keep winning i, I thought we played them okay so now we're gonna hop in our game uh to boston college oh before we get in we're a hometown hero now so now we can use uh hot, ru hot routes so what else next is uh extra play buttons so we get two more plays hot routes at away games okay i'm just gonna hop in now <laughs> so we're home for this game and um i just thought about it it's gonna be so hard to get it's in the national championship just after that loss and we do not play a hard schedule like at all so we're just gonna have to get lucky that a lot of teams lose and uh sadly south carolina isn't in our isn't in our division or whatever so we can't, we won't we won't play them and uh in the like the gosh what I, conference game whatever i don't even know dude i i'm having hard times with talking today but we can't call hot routes forgot about that let's do this now now we are getting back to our normal south of it we can keep playing smart slide before getting hit so we don't get injuries and i'm just gonna run it and i wanted to slide but it's all right now we're home we can also cool down the crowd a little bit and then we can run the play so then it's not that intense and then we can throw balls like that to Powell. So it's 25 yards over the middle. We're going to keep a rushing offense because we are the speedy boys. I thought it said that we were ranked 10th in the top 25, but apparently not. So I don't think we went up a spot, which kind of sucks. Uh, throw that pass. He might be able to get to the end zone. No, but I'm going to rush up the play. And I'm going to send uh, Fields. I thought I just sent him on a zig route. No, I pressed the wrong stick. We're going to send Fields on a zig route. And it, it worked. Boston College was able to come right back with that heat and hit us 7-7. Seven seven. No, I'm, I'm so scared, dude. I really hope that we can we can make some major plays and, and get into the national championship because that's the cool part about this series is, like, getting in the net. That guy. That guy. Wait, that guy just like ran into his teammate and got pancaked. <laughs> Wait, what? In college football, there's not much room for error, so we can't we can't make these 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 bad choices. Ooh, B was like open. If I actually ran to the left side of the field, I probably would have been able to get him. Now that's a 32 yard gang gang. Wait, what am I saying? It's first and goal now. So five for five, 93 yards, one touchdown. Uh, do we I don't think we went perfect in high school and I don't imagine we go perfect in college or in in the NFL oh I was trying to reach a little bit more but I couldn't get it off but I'm gonna rush it up and do the same thing but I'm gonna probably send who is that Bryant on a zig route because it's actually not too bad if you're just trying to get in the end zone and touchdown uh, we're not gonna do an HP drive uh, but they're giving us that kind of sucks because they're all running plays and we cannot we can't call we can't audible different plays but we can do hot routes only at home games though so i'm gonna fake hack do the hack hack and then give him the ball and let him run into the end zone like he always does three yard gain again not much this is why they give me the ball to run honestly i could play any position that i want to especially with that that 33 or that 86 or whatever whoa well, i don't know what the exact number was uh spin move like that's a crazy number for our quarterback. I don't think a quarterback's supposed to be that good at spin moves, but 
Again, we're not no, we're not, we're not no ordinary, ordinary quarterback. Does that like cancel out? I don't know, but it don't matter. Good thing we're faster than these guys. And my teammate blocked me. That was the best part. Please, I, I thought he was injured. I was about to freak out. Now I think also the goal with not fumbling is also, also not uh, getting injured. So I think I need to stop running and like making my guy tired because I I. I doubt that this game is that realistic but maybe if you're if you're like super tired super exhausted you just like ran back to back to back plays you don't you have a higher chance of getting injured which would make sense of course but nice nice block i guess it worked but <laughs> a nice block still up by a score though 21 to 14 against boston college again we have another running play i think that's what, what, what coach is having us do Having us just like start off the drive with a little run play, have a few people miss their blocks so he only gets three yards, which is exactly what happened last time. And then he gives us a pass play. He's like, you know what? You know what, Nick Savage? I'll let you, I'll let you do it. I'm like, thank you, sir. You, you finally recognize that I have skill. So I appreciate it. I'm just gonna get an easy first down right there. Cause we're like nine for nine, 10 for 10 or something like that. So. Let's keep this, yeah, nine for nine. So let's keep this perfect passing percentage going. Should I, I think I should just like do, uh, what's it called? Slants the whole game and just get a perfect passing percentage. Oh, that's close. But one of these guys are gonna have like butter fingers and they're not gonna catch it. And it's gonna make me mad. It's like uh, when a pitcher's going for a no hitter and then uh, the catcher just has an error or whatever, or the first baseman has error, whoever, wherever the ball's getting hit and they like mess it up. It's, it's very crappy. I don't know, uh, I don't know if I'm going to throw it to Bryant, but I think I'm going to run it. No, oh, well, <coughs> dude, I couldn't do anything about that. We're going to be giving the ball to T Higgins again, but of course we have to do wait, 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 and then there you go. And then send it to him. That's all yours. Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought he just fumbled. You know, you could have like went like maybe a little bit slightly right and then, or well, slightly left technically if you're talking about the middle of the field and you would have probably got more yards than you just got right there. So I guess I'm not the coach. I'm not the player in that situation. So I don't have any say, but we're going to throw that, get an easy cash money first down, rush up the offense, even though I was just saying something about like pacing my quarterback so he doesn't get injured. But again, who cares? Should be able to get Fields or Powell, I think that was the guy over there. And there you go, first and goal, 18 yard reception. We're doing pretty cash money though. And our coach wants us to do a run play to possibly punch it into the end zone. Now with the decision making our halfback's been doing, probably isn't a very cash money idea, but I'm just gonna, I guess he's the coach and exactly, that's why he's, ooh, four verticals. This looks like the exact type of play that would like mess up my passing percentage or this looks like the exact play that would give me a long run. <laughs> like this. And then slide. Slide. I don't need fumbles. I'm doing great this game. This is one of my better games. I cannot mess up. And we also need to get down the field in a minute and 11 seconds. So I think I'm going to run a uh, no huddle offense just to get this, this offense kind of going. And also I'm going to send all those guys deep so that Possibly makes X open, but I waited way too long. Lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Okay, you're good. You're not injured. You didn't fumble. You're fine. I promise. A deep attack. This is good because fields can possibly get open middle of the field and not uh, left side of the field and deep. And then if not, then I can run. I guess I'm just wasting timeouts at this point, but I'm also getting first downs. And I'm also the best quarterback in the... The, net, the, the college football, college football program of the universe. And, uh, nice pass and touchdown. Thank God he caught that. I thought that that defender was going to come back. I forgot to talk before that play, but it's fine. It doesn't matter for you guys. It matters for me because it's easier editing for me. Now, Dixon should be open. We're 14 for 14. I, I, I sense a... I sense that we're gonna mess that that stuff up right now on this play. I just sense it. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's four yards. Please don't get injured. You're fine. You're you're sweet, honey. You're perfectly fine. I wasn't feeling that play, anyways. 
I, I could have ran to the left side, but I like running to the right side in that situation. I think I'm going to run to the left side in this situation now. Because I like that I have a slant that goes down that way. But I should be able to... I don't see... It. Now I'm like scared to throw the ball because I have my perfect passing percentage. Like I could have thrown it to B and like hoped that I he would get the first down. But I was like, I don't know. And I'm going to throw it to Higgins or if like RB can... Or if I can run it, honestly. I'm going to run it. And then I'm going to rush him offense. And I'm injured. Gosh darn it. That was only a quick injury. We are fine. No harm done. They just put a few shots at me. And uh, I'm healthy again. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine. And then that's a pass over the middle to Dixon. And that'll give us 22 yards. Keep this rushing offense going because... We love that we we love that the fans are loud. We need to keep them loud as they're our motivation. We need to, of course, my heart's pumping. I need to like calm it down a little bit, and then like the ball, have the motion kind of roll over to the right, and and slide, 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 slide for breakfast, slide for lunch, slide for dinner. Then that gives us more space on the right side of the field since we ran left, and either Bryant or Dixon should be open. And possibly whoever's on the left side, Dixon, could be open into the end zone. So that's what we're hoping. That was a good block. And that's that's fine. We're in the five yard line. Get up. Let's rush up. And I'm probably Is that an out route? Okay, I'll do that. That doesn't These guys are blitzing me a hundred percent. It doesn't matter, I'll just run it in. They didn't blitz me. They didn't blitz me. It's alright though. Our defense was strong on that play. They didn't it didn't give up anything, so now I don't trust over. I, I, I wish you could reset a route because I, I actually I wasn't too upset about his route. Dude, what? Did get the block. Okay, well now we're gonna have to fight for 24 yards in the matter of like two plays, three plays, two, one, two, three, two or three plays depends if we go for it on fourth down. I'm gonna send Powell deep and maybe we can, maybe just maybe he'll be open, or we can just get a little bit of yards with Fields and. Then we'll start in four. See, that's what you got to do. Just get a little bit of yards, which really that wasn't a little bit. But uh, they want us to do a, a halfback draw. Uh, not too, not too uh, stoked about this idea, but I will still hike the ball and let him run it. Let him do his thing. Because he just makes stupid decision making like that. Like, what are you doing? Uh, I, I guess I'm going to do that. Oh, play it. Okay, well... That's rough. Some of these fourth down situations aren't even my fault because it's just our halfback cannot get the yards to, to give us first downs. Like right there, all he had to do was like break maybe one or two tackles, but he couldn't do it. He's just a weaky boy. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at Overton going long. Could that be a touchdown for my boy Overton? And it will be. So they want us to do, I believe it's a jet, something with a jet. And basically Powell's going to come over from the right side. And he's going to take it like he's the halfback. Or no, maybe our halfback take it. Wow. That play was so good. That I even tricked myself out. That was pretty impressive. Now I don't want to run it because <laughs> I could I could run it and like keep my perfect pass percentage to like safe, but kinda wanna get 20 straight passes. Now that's when you're like, holy crap, this guy, he's the real heckin' deal, man. God dang it! Well, I guess I have nothing to lose now since I have threw two straight incomplete passes. So now I'm just gonna happen to I'm just gonna throw it deep, probably. Honestly, throw it. I'm gonna throw it. He caught that. He caught that. Cash money. Cash money. For how much I would love my perfect percentage and like be 20 for 20 with like nearly 400 yards. That kind of sucks. And rush up, rush up, rush up. And I'm injured. Oh yeah, of course. But I'm back out for the last 30, 29 seconds of the game, which I guess that doesn't mean anything because we're just QB kneeling. So we're going to get into victory formation and then we're going to play one more game. Now for Nick Savage, we have a 321. Uh, quarterback rating we go 19 for 21 we are so close we had a 90 percent passing uh, completion percentage four touchdowns 421 yards i believe it didn't have a fumble uh but we did have three sacks our longest pass was a 75 yard pass so i mean we're we're, we're gucci 22 yards average per completion that's great okay so wait what about rushing um, when you have more rushing yards than your halfback, Lamau. Oh my god, there you go. Ducks slipped to nine after losing to Washington. Now, that was also something I had in the back of my head, but I didn't imagine Washington 
I said, I was like, I think Washington and Oregon are in the same conference, so they should play each other. Now, if Washington can clutch up, because I knew they were kind of good, but I didn't see them in the top 25, so I wasn't sure. So that's that's exactly what I was anticipating. Uh, but we've only went up one, and they've dropped down only nine. So uh, there's no other surprises except for UCLA coming into the top two. If Texas A&M and UCLA are your top two teams at the end of the year, that's going to blow my mind. But uh, Oregon State's up there too. I believe that I 100% believe Oregon's going to beat them once Oregon State, once like they actually play them. I believe they play them like in the last game of the season. Uh, we'll we'll beat South Carolina. We just got to make sure that South Carolina either stays there or gets higher. Uh, Alabama and Texas A&M. That's that's really going to be a dogfight. Depends on who's a dogfight. That's probably not a good analogy, but. Uh, one of them's gonna have to win. Uh, I'm assuming Boise State's gonna get beat by an actual good team sometime. Notre Dame, they probably they have a shitty schedule every year, so they're probably not gonna lose. And then you have the SEC schedule uh, with LSU. So I'm just trying to make uh, possible outcomes, and also I'm curious to see if we are in the Heisman watch because we did just like have an amazing game last game. And yes, just like that, we're second in the Heisman race. But we're going to have to, we, we passed, I don't know who this is, I don't know who, this is uh, Lamar Jackson, we passed Lamar Jackson, I don't know who this is, I don't know who this is, and then we're just right behind Johnny Manziel, so we got to keep playing good, just like that in one game, we were able to jump second in the Heisman race, so we'll, we'll be watching it, we only have 7,700 points, so kind of have to watch where we, we spend it on, I would say, I would assume we'd be spending it on the deep ball, because this really is throwing accuracy, that's right down our lane, I believe we can't buy anything else that uh, is a career boost, especially like these. These We can't buy that. That's 12,000 XP. Now, this week, we're going to be playing against Florida State. Now, they were a uh, they were a, uh, a team that I was hoping would be ranked a little bit higher by the time we played them, but that's completely fine. Ooh, now, rain games. I, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have a, a pretty bad time with uh, rain games, so... I'm kind of curious to see how we'll do. F FSU was able to score on their first possession of the game. So let's see if we can, we can come right back and do the same. Cool it down a little bit already. It's getting really hot in here. Throw it to him, Dixon. If he can break a tackle or do a long turnaround towards the wrong way. I also learned, like, when I played football, is usually you want to, like, turn the other way, like, towards the sideline. Not just, like, not, like, do, like, almost a full 360. I, I don't know. That's just kind of what I learned because you have more momentum. But okay, it doesn't matter. Apparently Dixon doesn't know this stuff. Apparently he doesn't need to know this stuff. Okay, I got the first down. I think I panicked there because there's a lot of defenders and I possibly would have gotten a lot more yards if I actually tossed it to my boy Higgins. But Dixon and or Bryant should be open on this play. No problem. But I'm gonna run it because cash money. Bro, I tried to, I tried, I tried sliding. I was about to say, if I fumble and or get injured on this play, I tried sliding. So it's not my problem. But usually every game we do level up. So uh, by leveling up, I mean, um, so for instance, one of the weeks we can call, or for like ne uh, this last week, we gained the level to where you could call audibles and now we actually get 10 plays that we could choose from like in this little menu see there's like a little xp bar it says extra play 10 uses now i have 10 so next week uh i i should be able to call hot routes even when i'm at away games i believe that's the next one and it's not like you do get them every game it's just if you get that much xp which i usually don't fail to get a uh, new level every single game. I'm pretty I'm pretty prestigious at this game now I don't want to do a run play so I want to get a touchdown pass so I'm gonna pass it probably to to Richard and get him right into the end zone that's what I'm hoping oh hike of this boy I guess this play didn't run exactly how I thought it would but I will throw it to B and Dixon will be able to get an eight yard touchdown I don't think I've talked about this yet but I also plan about I also plan of getting a Nick Savage, honestly, screw it. That's going to screw up my passing percentage, but... Ooh, that's rough. That's also going to mess up my Heisman. Oh! Oh! Oh, shoot! <laughs> yo! 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 Wait! Wait! Look at my... You look at your boy! Look at... <laughs> Wait a minute! No way! Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, look at that. Dude, look at my guy just stand up and be like, yeah, I messed up, but I fucking redeemed myself. I was just telling, I was just telling myself in the back of my mind, I'm like, that is probably easily the best play I've ever done in any football game, and I got it on recording. That is awesome. Hmm, why doesn't it say uh, forced fumble under my stat line? I wonder if I do go to my stat line after the game, I'll be under the, the defending tab or whatever it's called, the, t the turnovers tab. I, I sure hope that's so cool. That is awesome. Now, now I don't. Now I don't want to have a fumble. That's that's not what we're going for. I don't like this play though, so I'm gonna change it. That's gonna give us a four verticals. And Kendrick or Richards maybe or Dixon because that's a one on one down there. But he's not playing him too closely, so should be able to. Okay, and nobody's getting the block down. I, screw my perfect passing. I, I actually it was already ruined from that interception. But throw it away so that it's it's not third and long, of course. Coach wants to do a running play, so we're just gonna follow him, even though he's probably wrong, like they always are. Hike it, hike it, and he will get the first down. Four yard rush, and that's really all we need him for is to to ground and pound for us. I don't like run plays, especially because uh, I'm a cocky quarterback that likes taking the ball. But this game is still tied, 14 to 14. And, dude, I'm still so excited about that play. That is insane. That is so cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look over that when I'm editing. And I'm going to be like, dude, that is the coolest play I've ever done. Dixon might be able to get Oh, he got laid out. All right, so I forgot to talk at the beginning of that play. And I'm probably not going to edit it in because I didn't do anything too special. It's just I scrambled out to the right side and got like five yards and got out of bounds. So I'm not, I'm not going to keep that in. It's nothing too special. Now, oh, I should have threw that ball a little bit earlier then. We'd probably we probably be in the red zone so this play i'm assuming i'm gonna catch powell when he comes back or over to or bryant we have a lot of options for this play the question is what's gonna get us the most yards now i think that's the safest route and if he can get that block which he did but there's more defenders than i thought there was so again that's very much fine i'm gonna change powell's route over to a slant and then have him roll over the right side I'm gonna get, throw him a pass right there, and he's gonna get us within like the five yard line. Now we have a speed option. We're, again, we're very good at these. And the last few times they've done these, they, they've they uh, always went after our halfback. So it's a nice little change of pace right there. Yeah, I'm gonna be talking about that play like all. Yeah, I'm gonna be talking about that play so much now. That is insane. That's just, again, that's one of the coolest plays. And it's on, usually when it does, like, if I was playing for fun, for instance, I wouldn't have gotten that recorded because you can't do the Xbox record on the 360. Like if it's a good play on Madden, I could just record it on my Xbox. But if it's on NCAA, I can't record it. But now since we're recording, I got that cash money play, and that was a terrible play. I, I was hoping I'd be able to get through that little tiny pocket. We're up. We're we're up. Down seven right now. The minute left to go in the up. Oh, wait, no, we're up seven. What am I saying? Up seven with a minute left to go. We can get into the end zone right here. Okay, let's do it again. Dang it. All right, we're not doing very good for our Heisman for our Heisman race that we're doing right now. But that's, again, that's fine. Oh, my. What? They weren't able to score. Awesome. All right, why are we doing run plays? Can I just have more plays? Okay, never mind. Well, that kind of sucks. We fumbled once in this game. And we've had two picks. So oh, that's roughy boy. Okay, if we can get block, get block, get block, get block, get block. Oh, of course. Of course, man. You know, if he wasn't there, we would have been in the end zone. The ball is slippery. That's why I've, I, I'm doing kind of bad. And again, usually I have bad games in the rain, except for I'm out here forcing fumbles. I guess that's a, I guess that's a, a, a different uh, way of playing. Now, he, Dixon almost got up. Now, we're going to rush the offense because we do just play better. We only have five uses of the extra plays. I'm going to keep using them because usually I don't. Uh, so, I'm just going to... They're, they're good because I like passing plays. I'm going to dive because I get more yards. And I can avoid a big hit slash fumble. And you, I think you can still fumble even when you dive. But I'm... I, I, I don't know. That's something we're going to have to figure out over time. Good thing where we have a, a long series of Road to Glory. Now, here's what I have in mind. I have that guy in mind. 
Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, he didn't have that in mind, though. Maybe we can. Maybe he will redeem himself on this play. If he doesn't, we'll we're one yard away, so I, I could just run it. Unless I'm getting blitzed, so I'm just gonna run it this side. And. <sighs> And I'm, oh my, I'm injured and we fumbled. Oh my God. We should be blowing them out. We should be up by like four possessions right now, but we fumbled twice, threw two picks, thrown two picks, and uh, we've been injured multiple times. If we could break that tackle and, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's try not to mess up this drive. We've done a lot of that old messing up thing. So let's see if we can clean it up a little bit. This rain should cleanse us so I should stop doing the rushing offense because I think that does help you get like tired and injured and cause fumbles and uh, that's not what we're about. That's not very cash money. So, you see, again, we can play better. That's the goal is playing better. So we're not gonna no huddle right here. This was not me, but they're, I think they're giving us the same exact play. Again, that's not me. I'm gonna see if I can catch X. Oh, dude, if I just threw a pick right there, I would have like... Oh, I would have been so upset. There's no way we're still in the Heisman race after this game. There is no way. We have completely been playing terrible. But that's another touchdown. Now, finally, we're able to keep the edge on FSU, and it's not hiding anymore. This game's actually taking a while. Our defense is like... Their, our defense is playing really good. They're able to get them out, out of the... Off the field, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Very quickly. Rushing offense, I'm going to use my extra play thing. I'm not a big fan of that play. I guess I could just do my audibles and stuff because that's available now. And I'm going to send you deep, get some guys off. Ooh, I could do this, can I? Uh, pass block. Pass block. You, I'm going to use you guys as, use you guys as blockers. There you go. That that works really well. That lo that Oh! <laughs> Why is the mascot on the field? <laughs> Good thing I actually told those guys to pass block for me because I think I was getting blitzed right there. I couldn't tell because, I mean, they were doing a really good job of pass blocking for me. That's a horse collar, but that's, again, none of my business. But they were doing a really good job pass blocking, so I really couldn't I couldn't tell if they were blitzing. It looked like it, though, because there was, like, two guys coming from the left side, and I believe another guy coming from the right side. And having all those extra, extra bodies able to stop them, that really made it better for me, and that was a good catch. Dumb pass, good catch. I'm assuming coach wants to run out the time now, but, uh, like, even though there's like four and a half minutes left in the game, we're only up by one touchdown. He probably is not running out the clock. This is just a little pass play to throw off the defense. Dude, go to the outside. <laughs> run to the outside and you'd be fine. I don't understand the, the decision making by some of the CPU in this game. It's not very wise. And I really like having that bit of security. And then I'm gonna send you streaking. Honestly, th screw it. <laughs> Dude, what a good throw. That was a good throw right there. Even though that does get rid of another receiver having my halfback just sit there and block for me, uh, it does, uh, it really does just give me a little bit of security. So, I'm, I'm content with just having him be my security. Give you a pass, there you go. You get some yards, you get, you break some tackles, get some yards. All that fun jazz. Get some more pass blocking. I don't know why I'm addicted to this now. I'm gonna have like, we're going, you pass block, you pass block. You can't do it to just anybody though. Ooh, ooh, good yardage. Might be in. I'm assuming I'm gonna get A in the end zone right here. Uh, have you pass block for me? Love you. But, uh, our boy, I can't remember who that is. There you go. Whoever you are. Bryant, yeah. In the end zone. Now, defense is able to get us some good field position, so. We're just going to give it to the halfback. Let's do a fake hack, you know what I'm saying? And then give it to the halfback down the center. Our O-line can't block. Probably would have got a lot more yards if our O-line knew how to block. But it's fine. Can I use extra plays? Yeah, I do. You know, the more passes we do, the more the clock speeds up because the more touchdowns I get and the more that our defense gets the ball and the offense gets off, off the field. Okay. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. When you're when you have butterfingers like that though, you can't even blame that on me. It's like 
Thank you for stopping the. Thank you for. Mommy ain't raised no bitch. What? Like, <laughs> we've gotten BS two plays in a row. Let's see if we can uh, maybe, maybe not mess up. Really, let's try that. Let's see how that goes. There you go. First down. Do not drop it. Do not drop it. That's all I'm asking. Do not fumble, drop, or anything in that that sort of field. Uh, I could run it, give my halfback another touchdown, but why do that when I could pass? Richard just sitting here is like, man, can, can I have a touchdown? I, I'm, I'm, I'm just really cold over here, man. This rain's really cooling me down. I'm like, cool down, crowd. If you keep, if you get open, like that guy. And we do get the ball one more time, but this is just to go into victory formation. So we're just going to win the game real quick. Okay, let's see if we can, if we're actually here in the game stats. Okay, so of course for passing, we didn't have as good as a quarterback rating as last game just with the two touchdowns uh, and the fumble. Now rushing, we are also up there with 87 yards. Uh, now here, let's see def defensive. Let's see if we're actually in here. Now for, is there any... Force fumbles. Force fumbles. Hey, yeah, boy. Two tackles. What? When do we get two tackles? I don't care. But, again, that's that's a force fumble. Now we have a force fumble under our stat line. That's cool. So, uh, next episode, we will be playing at the Maryland Terrapins, who are 7-0. and oh, And they're only ranked 23rd? Okay. Of course, we have to spend some of our XP. Now, we don't have enough for this one, but these are actually all um, ones that are career. So, uh, Marathon, um, yeah, we need to add a little bit to that injury, right? That, that injury, okay? So, let's just do that. Now, in the top 25, uh, who's dropped out? Uh, UCLA dropped out to Stanford. Now, they play Oregon next. So, whoever wins that game is going to get propelled forward which i hope it oregon loses and then they propel us forward hopefully now of course lsu with those with they have their off week this next or not did i say lsu the sec in general has their off week except for uh, alabama hopefully tennessee can like stun alabama hopefully boise state can get stunned by byu and then here's maryland they are playing us this week now uh, i'm kind of curious to see how far we drop in the heisman ranking all right so we didn't drop we just kind of stayed here so we didn't go up i bet if we did as good as we did last game then we probably would have went up and be in front of johnny menzel but that is fine we will we will get it one of these weeks along with uh winning a natty hopefully if we can get luck i also haven't checked if we've gotten player of the week i would hope that we got player of the week like last week yeah there you go freshman nick savage how about week six? Oh yeah that's me and then i think those are our only weeks that we got play player of the week so that's liddy so that's gonna be the end of this episode if you enjoyed press the like button subscribe if you know that's all i got see ya that's all folks